Hello there fellow summoners, MadDogHT here. We're gonna go in for another path in 7.4.4. This is the third path that I completed. Um, this is just me voiceovering back over. I've done all pretty much most of my other videos uh, recording while I was playing, but uh, I wasn't able to do that for this. So this one's got paradox buffs. So when you gain a buff, you're gonna gain a paradox. Uh, when you knock them down, um, you're gonna remove it and you get special damage with uh, the entropic prowess um, and it's got the quantum power where you basically get um, you, you're the the defender is gonna get additional combat power rate when you're under those um, three paradox and then prey on the weak when your buffs expire um, they get power so I brought cable in and I, I got I got I get pretty wrecked here um, she hits me into the block quite a few times and get some bleeds going and I wasn't um, getting my paradox off so basically you can get two paradox charges from one dex on the initial um, precision and then when you remove it um, you'll get it but you can see here I, I didn't build it up first I should have built up um, the paradox and then I should have just started like parrying heavy like I had you know, I, I do get the extra degens and whatever from the bleeds but check that out I got cornered because of all the power gain and I get a ton of bleeds on me luckily it didn't it didn't kill me off but she also got a ton of degens and we squeak it out not the cleanest fight I was only planning on using him once um, so yeah, it worked out. It worked out okay. We're gonna move up to the spider ham. And I think I learned my lesson. I'm like, man, that power game was a little bit too much. So here you're gonna see that I'm just going to dex to get the um, paradox and then do one hit. And that's gonna get me a, a, a second one. And then just do that again. And then once I get enough, then you know we've shut off the power gain from him. There we go. Yeah, so you can get two paradox from one dex and then from here on out I'm gonna try to get um, you know those light ender bleeds and bleed this guy out when I need to get a knockdown um, get the heavy and get off those porker poppers and whatnot but I think at one point I end up throwing a special right when I get a popper we're gonna take some pretty nasty damage um, we don't have any tactical charges, um, which isn't going to allow me to bypass that evade from him. Here, we're going to knock him down, get off all of those debuffs, and somewhere in here, I think I throw, yeah, right there. So I threw a heavy, and I got a popper on me right before I threw the special three. So not an ideal thing to watch this. Boom. <laughs> Look at all that. I took off 78% of my health from that one special three. Um, and then he's at quite a bit of power. We're getting cornered a bit. He starts evading like a little madman. And we knock him down, get off those poppers. But look at our paradox charges. Then we get we get hammered. So now we've lost our real Nick Fury. We're at 10 paradox. We don't want to trigger any buffs because we don't want to get past 11. We throw off a special one. We have 13 charges. So we're, now we're um, we can bypass the evade entirely. Um, I'm doing some heavies to get those paradox charges kind of in check. And then we're gonna just do some light ender combos here. Get the deep wound bleed going. And yeah, we're we're doing all right. We're gonna finish this off. Um, I think I I think I get cornered here again at some point. Um, or do we just finish him off? Uh, we just finish him off. So we end up we end up with basically 30% health right right at that LMD cutoff point. 
for where he stops um, degenning. So we get the solo there, not ideal. Totally messed up on that special three. Uh, now we got Thor Rags. We're gonna go in with Apocalypse. Um, we have to manage our combo. There's a little bit more to keep track of here because you don't want to have him going and getting um, a power gain when you don't have enough power to throw a special and like push him to a special three. That could be bad news. Um, so we're just getting off the decks and then a one hit. We got the paradox charges. We need to build up and hold our special. And yeah, I get whacked. I get whacked quite a bit on this lane, but I think I, if I remember right, I do clear all of the fights, but I think I clear all of them with not a lot of health left. Except, except maybe the Morales fight. I think I, I think I cleared that one pretty easily with, with CGR. But there we go. We, we throw the special two. We turn off the power gain. We get our concussion and degen up. And then next up, we're going to throw special one. And uh, get the weakness and the poison on. I think we're going to go in from this combo. Yeah, we turn off the power gain. So now we got all four debuffs doing some pretty decent damage. Because you do get special attack damage with the um, with the paradox, I probably could have uh, built them up a little bit higher, but I think on this next special it almost it almost does them in. Because I think we're gonna get off a special two here. Because I only had four paradox, I probably should have I probably should have um, built up some more. Yeah, it almost gets them. But if I would have had more paradox, then it would have been it would have been plenty. And then I, I don't dax. I think I'm gonna get hit. I think I might get hit again on the dash back. Um, maybe not. No. All right, sixty percent health. It's not too bad. Not the clean. Not a clean fight though, by any means. And then I think this next fight is Spider-Man Morales. So yeah, you really, really want to um, dex a few times, dex, parry, like medium or light attack, and then just repeat that, build up enough paradox to where you can manage the power gain on the fight. So this one we're going to go in with CGR. CGR has um, access to that vigilance buff, which will allow him to bypass the miss. So... I mean, I guess technically you could probably bring somebody in this fight where you don't need to throw a special, but um, probably not ideal either. Now, CGR does get buffs and all, all that through his judgments, um, but we're going to do a lot of heavy knockdowns. And because we have the Vigilance, we can do that. He's got the Armor Breaks up. If I had the Precision up, we get some crits there. We got a 34k crit there. That was pretty nice. And... Yeah. I'm not playing around trying not to dex on this one. Just because... I feel like it'd be... A, it's, it's a little bit harder to deal with all the Paradox and stuff. Um, here we get to a special 3... I'm trying to lower some of the paradox before I get going. We get the vigilance heavy, and I think I'm gonna go into a special three here. Right there. All right, so we can come out of this and we can hit him. We'll have the fury up. Um, Yeah, we'll finish them off. I think we finished this one off fairly cleanly with it, with minimal damage taken. Um, so yeah, CGR is a good option for Morales just because he's got that vigilance. Now I have to wait it out because it didn't quite last long enough, but that's okay. No crit on that heavy. No crit on that. We got the Fury up though. Um... I think we go into the Vigilance here. 
no power gain and then I think into the vigilance block that so that we can get the crit and the precision and the precision and the cruelty off the L2 finishes them off so pretty decent there uh, a pretty decent option hit there now this one I just brought in my rank 5 star lord just because <laughs> Is he an ideal counter for this uh, Black Widow Deadly Origin? Absolutely not. Um, if I were to redo this one, I'm not sure who I'd do. I'd probably do something like AA would be would be pretty solid. Um, but yeah, I just figured I'd just, I don't know, just figured I'd try Star-Lord for this one. And he works. I think I do get hit once somewhere yeah right at the beginning right at the beginning like uh great there goes like half my health um and we got to get those paradox charges up before we start going to town because we don't want her to get too much power gain her specials have really long reach across the map so you can really get cornered if if she's not cooperating and that's what ends up happening we do want to push her to the special two because then we don't have to deal with her evade. Um, but yeah, here comes special one. So now we can basically parry one hit. The heavy is going to be too long. It would I would get evaded um, mid heavy. And yeah, you just got to be really careful now because she's gonna she can hit and if she gets a couple of those shocks on you. Luckily, I only got one shock off of that miss at the start but I mean a couple shocks in your toast um, so yeah I think if I would if I were to just redo this like if I was actually just trying to get like one of the most ideal counters I probably think I'd just nuke her down with AA um, or somebody that can bypass the evade somebody like maybe like mole man um, I'm sure Corvus. Corvus would be actually pretty decent for this lane. Um, because you can get a charge on her. You can get you can get an evade charge on the spider ham. Who was the first fight? It was can't think of it anymore. But yeah. Corvus might be decent. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just gonna squeak this one out. I think we're gonna get off a big special two here. 76,000, we didn't crit though. Um, it's one of the reasons why I brought him in was just because you can get the uh, special enhancement damage with the Paradox, I wanted to try it out. So I mean, 76,000 without a crit with the rank five, that's, that's not too shabby. So we do get the solo. Um, I'm gonna go up against Heimdall. All right, for this one, who did I use? Did I use, I think I use Apocalypse. Um, we do get the solo, but we end up with quite low health. Um, you know, basically once, once you get uh, your Paradox, you can pretty much just like Dex and Parry Heavy. Um, and that will offset the charges and stuff you get. There, I just eat a heavy. You know, here you gotta watch out for the auto block. I think, I think what happens here, so like you can counter his special one um, if you get the spacing right with whatever champ you have. Sometimes you have to throw like with a light attack and then go back in with your heavy, but you can get auto blocked on this guy. And I think on one of these, I think it might be this next special one. I totally missed the spacing. And he whacks me pretty good from it. Um, and we just want to make sure that we do not push this guy to the special two. Yeah, we whiff. Yeah, there it is. All right, so we just took a whole chunk of our health. Um, <clears throat> but uh, we're, we're going to finish this one out. But I would say just make sure you don't push the special two because he's going to get an armor up that will be fully unblockable. And yeah, be patient. Make sure he's throwing special one. 
manage those paradox with the with your with your buffs. I think it's I think it's better if you do bring in a champ that doesn't get buffs naturally because if you get too many unless you have more control over it um, it becomes a little bit problematic they might get out of control like the Star Lord fight you know he gets those furies um, on on his combos and they kind of got built up but you know you can always heavy to get rid of them so yeah we're we're low on health now. We're low on health. We're going to try to get built up to a special three to lock in the um, debuffs that I have. And it's going to do quite a bit of damage, if I remember right. We do, get, we do squeak this out, but we're, we're at low health on pretty much everybody but... Cosmic Ghost Rider, which, um, you know, it's not an ideal situation for the boss, going in with pretty much everybody at being, like, dead, but we're, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do on the boss. I think we're going to get Super Scroll on this one. So we got the special three off, got all those debuffs locked in. You can see on some of his special ones, he doesn't even get the auto block um, because the concussion is preventing that true strike. Um, and yeah, we're going to get him down right here, I believe. Yeah, he goes down. So we get the solo. It wasn't, wasn't super clean. Um, but we got through the path. Uh, which is all that matters. Now we're going to stroll up to the boss. And this is this is the path with with the six star shard, so it's pretty nice. Um, look at all that refills. I'm going to claim a bunch of the small refills. I had opened up a bunch um, of the four hour crystals when I did my uh, Mutant Abyss run. That's where I'm getting all those refills from, the small ones. So we're going to go over to the CGR, and I was thinking, the CGR to this um, Super Scroll. It's got Steady steady Perseverance, Feats of Power, Stun Burn Ability, and then Bullet Time. So Bullet Time, when they aren't stun immune, they basically consume the stuns and you build up these evade charges. And if you dex, then they'll get stunned for a really long time. Um, so if you built up enough of those and you had a high damage output champ, you could probably kill them in one shot. Um, and now that I'm thinking back on this, I think somebody like AA would be really solid for this. Build up a lot of, um, of those charges and then you just go to town with heavies and nuke them down with the neuros. Um, but you're going to see me go in. I, br I brought in Human Torch so that I could, he could be the backup with a flame on. Um, and then I got the rest of the team. So... <clears throat> The rest of the team is that just hanging on though. APOC, Fury, Cable, all at like 20% health or something like that. So CGR, we're gonna we're gonna try to get a few parries. You can see there we got one and then we, we evaded and he got that's when he gets stunned. So there I got three parries off. But when you try to hit him, he consume it's a it's an automatic evade, unless you have um, something that will bypass you know, some type of true strike. And then I get whacked in the face. Now we're in the corner. Um, we got six of those charges off. We throw off, we didn't get the vigilance. We throw off the L2, miss a whole bunch of that. And then I just get nuked. I get nuked down by the special two, missed, missed timing the, him throwing that off. And yeah, that went terrible. That went absolutely terrible. So that that did not that did not go well. So I'm like, all right, time to torch this guy. He is immune to incinerates, but he is not immune to uh, Nova Flame. And you know, if he's going to be throwing a bunch of specials and whatnot, then yeah, um, the power stings and all that will be beneficial. So we're going to try to build up some of those evade charges. Hopefully, he doesn't keep going into the heavies. And he just keeps knocking into you so you can get multiple um, 
parry charges on there. We got six. We're getting close to the corner. Um, now he gets his power gain. All right, we need to get an evade. I should have hit into his block because there we missed a bunch of uh, opportunity to hit him. Um, now we're gonna, I think we're gonna push him to special two. He got a bunch of power things. We just blocked that special two now. Um, it does build up some smolder and temperature, which is nice. Now, when he throws his special, he gets the stun immunity buff, so you can't build up those charges, so you either have to let that fall off. Um, but by the time that happens, he's back to another special, unless you're really, really patient. But the stun, stun buff immunity is very long. It's, it's based on how many buffs he has, and this dude's got a lot of buffs. So unless you're using a champ to get rid of those buffs, um, you know, it's going to be a little bit difficult to get in the bullet time uh, stun stuff. Totally miss a um, a block there. He's fully unblockable. Or maybe he was unblockable and I didn't know or realize that that's what it was. He was unblockable and I got hit. And then I just miss, miss a dex. Probably should have been able to finish him off fairly easily. Didn't have too much health left. 134,000. So we got three guys to finish this guy off. I'm hoping to not use any items for this guy. And I was looking back at that bullet time. So bullet time, you're going to have access to it really easy at the start of the fight. Um, but after the start, when he th starts throwing specials, it, you know, likely not going to have much access to it because that buff immunity to stuns is going to be um, up for quite a long time. <clears throat> so we're going, so even there, he even had the buff immunity up and with the one charge and the decks and stuff, it it won't stun him. So we get off a special one right before the Vigilance. And we get some of those debuffs on. We need to hit into his block to get rid of that, or to get rid of the Falter, not the Vigilance. Um, we can't stun this guy, so trying to... Well, now we could if we hit into his block. Nope. There we go, and I... He only had one charge. I wish I could have refreshed those debuffs, but oh well. Now we want to bait this guy's special one. He's not throwing it, and he gets to the special two, and I don't know how to fully evade the timing on this. He's going to end up throwing it into my block, and we are going to die. Yeah, it was just, it was just too much. Too much damage with too little health. So next up, we're going to go in, I think with fury yeah so we're going with fury we're going to try to get off some light ender bleeds and nuke this guy down we got the real nick fury this guy is not bleed immune um we do have cable on deck in case we need him but we we won't we'll, we'll we're able to get this guy down so not not a clean solo or a clean takedown but we didn't have to use any items which is my main goal i don't like using items and stuff totally missed the tax on that special one it, luckily it didn't kill me um and yeah so hopefully i mean this path probably not the most ideal um one to get a lot from apoc does well um, especially if you play well cable can do that squirrel girl fight i didn't play that one well um CGR, always a good option for, for Spidey Morales, but hopefully you get a kick out of me dying a few times. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm hoping to have 7.4 all completed by this weekend, so hopefully I'll have all those videos as I keep pumping them out. But yeah, thanks and peace.